presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. Only the, the only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 650, NASDAQ off 396, SP's off 103, gold contract down $17.90, trade at 1702 an ounce. With silver down 54 cents, twenty dollars eleven cents an ounce, light sweet crude up. $4.63, $93.08 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down 16 ticks, trading at a price point of 111.14. The 30-year, down 28 at 125.13 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 540 ticks, trading at 112.800. The Euro is at 97, the Yen's at 145, and the British Pound is at 110 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you had the jobs number come out this morning. Well, first off, if we go, we 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 know looking at the at the whole week out here, the bottom line is that you did get a sign of strength coming off the lows uh, you know, on Monday, on Tuesday rather. Okay, De decent day, okay? Uh we did 103 million shares. Now you can see what, what's happening here, folks, okay? So when I maybe specifically see what's happening here, we are backing down now f wide price spread, but the volume is contracting dramatically. So that's telling me that on the SPY here, right? So on the SPY right now, we're at 362. Now, I doubt, oh, no, this would be cool. Okay, so check this out, man. So you get a Friday afternoon, you know, who wants to buy coming into a Friday afternoon with a down day, right? Okay, so what I'm setting up here, folks, first for you bulls out here, I'm setting up a bullish scenario. And this is what it would be. So the high of the low period, meaning it, the, the low that was established last week, that, that low is 357. Well, the high of that was 365.91. Now, you're three points away from that in the SPY. We'll see. If you got a rally coming into the close, and you close somewhere near that, that'd be saying that, guess what? That's it, man. You don't get that, you're going right after it, man. And, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. That's in your spy. We take a look at the NDX 100. So this, the NDX 100 is trickier for sure. The NDX 100, uh, we have, we're into the bar way too far. The top of that bar there is 275, you're 269. The bottom of the bar is 267. Uh, you've done uh, 50 million shares and you're going to 78. So there is a contraction of volume there also. Let me go back to the SPY again because I want to see how this is set up because the SPY might be set up the same way on the weekly. On the weeklies, it looks like they're setting up larger ABC structures down. Yeah, the weeklies are too. Yeah, they are. See, if this is an ABC down, it's going to be a monster, man. It's going to be a monster. Because if we go to the SPY, they look at, uh, what, 411? 
Yeah, that's uh, 55. That's 320. Yeah, 320 brings you over here. What's that? That's uh, October of 2020. This is this close. I can tell you is going to be important. Uh, there hasn't been a bounce all day. Not even close either. Uh, we'll see what, whether comes in, one comes in. What has been happening in a bad market is that the gold equities have basically held up. Uh, let me show you first the contract. Okay, so the contract. We take a look at the contract, and what you have with the contract is you're backing down with. Uh, 148,000 contracts. You got the 1698. It's at 1703 right now. And you can see that you're going into 215,000 contracts and 205. So that says it wants higher price. We go take a look at the bond market. And what we have inside the bond market is that this is going right after its lows. Now let's watch this because this is going to be cool. How we're going to Piece this, yeah, see, this is cool too, man. So, so look at this. So the bond market, you're coming into how we came off the bottom. Now look at, that's a contraction also. That's 1.1 million contracts going into 2.9. Okay, now we go to King Dollar. So what gets intriguing here now when you start putting together the aspect of where the bonds are and where gold's going, you know, we know we have this high out here. Now, that being said, it's actually got my head wrapped around the aspect of that if this dollar was going to the highs again, right? Now, that's, the, the highs are open, that's for sure, okay? Because the low of the high is 112.561. Well, we're at 112.813. Um, that might do it. And, and where, I'm, where I'm going with this whole deal, folks, is this, is that... It looks to me that, number one, you're pulling back into the lows with light volume. Then what you're also doing is that the bond market is pulling into its lows with a huge contraction. And gold is not getting killed. Yeah, I mean, look, at I mean, we own this equity, but this is really intriguing. I ain't going to Ashanti, right? I mean, you get a bad day in the market, and this thing is only down 25 cents, man. This thing is going to want to do an ABC structure up. So... But, and let's go, well, let's go to the dog. See, the dog of the whole gold market and the largest weighting structure is Newmont. But even Newmont, look at Newmont, 5.5 million shares and you're going into 12.9. So when I start putting all of that together, that's telling me that what's going to happen here is that the low that is established, you know, the last low that we have that is trying to test right now, that's telling me that that low is probably going to hold, it might spike it. Uh, but it's also telling me that it's not like you're going to take another leg down before you get another bounce. That's kind of how it goes. My take, uh, the larger take, now that's that's the take right now. And I'd say that, you know, right now, the next couple of weeks, okay? My larger take is that, you know, the SPX is at, you know, 3,600 and 3,100 is game. That's kind of, and where I'm getting the 3,100, folks, that's the high of the low of COVID. That's where I think we're going. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials down 695, Nasdaq's up 118, S&P's up for 110. And just look at this. You talk about one-day wonders, man. This is crazy. So you had Biden come out yesterday saying that, the, you know, bottom line, the feds are going to look into the aspect of um, rescheduling uh, marijuana. Um, bottom line, uh, you know, he had a blanket pardon for people that were uh, a simple possession. And all these pot stocks, man. So yesterday, you know, if you take a look at Canopy, it goes from 292 to 383. It opens today at 370. It goes to 373 and gives it up in spades, man. It's like, whoa. That was, that was definitely a one-day wonder. That's pretty intense, actually. Uh, look at it. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here today. Point-wise, they're all red. Every Dow stock is red. Um, bringing it down the most out here is United Health, that's putting it at 110 negative points. Microsoft 83, Home Depot 48, Salesforce 37. Um, the least uh, negative impact inside the Dow today is Merck. Merck still uh, almost a point. Coca-Cola. Uh, bottom line is that they're all red. We go inside the NDX 100. We look at the NDX 100. Uh, you get uh, Dexcom. I think it's Dexcom, right? Yeah, Dexcom is up by 6.9%. Uh, other than that, AMD, that's down 13%. Uh, Marvell is off 11%. You get Splunk off 8.4 and Lucent's off uh, 8.2. Uh, I believe it was AMD. I mean, you talk about, um, you know, a number, folks, okay? They came out, yeah, they missed it by uh, a billion. They were, they, by, this is in 90 days, mind you, okay? So you are talking about some heavy, uh, I think it was 6.7 and they committed 5.7. Now, here you get a monster ABC down. Look at this, okay? Um, yeah, this thing is not done. Let me put this in a weekly, see how this sets up. Okay, so on a weekly... What is this one? That's 54, 61, so it's just on a daily. I got it. Okay, so what is that right there? That's 50. Are oh, you going to 54? Yeah. NVDA. Let me, let's take a look at NVIDIA. See where NVIDIA is set up right now. So NVIDIA is coming down into its low. You get volume of uh, 52 versus 53 so uh that also uh does have volume on the way down that's how this thing is shaking out right now 
So this is going to get uh, kind of intriguing. Let's go to Jose in uh, Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Boy, you've been in the zone all week. You're like... Give me the ball, Larry Bird. Fiddle, diddle, daddle, and doodle. You're all over the place with mortgage rates, where the building materials are going. It's beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yes, yes. Tom, uh, when you do your opening monologue and you say, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here, what are you doing right now? You're talking about the B theory of time, which is the tensed theory. The A theory is tenseless. Just a little theology there. I like it. I, yeah, I, the listen, theory of that, I love uh, that saying, and it, I think it's so true. I mean, you know. Yeah, some people think the, the, the past, present, and future is merely a, a, a figment of one's imagination. Oh, um, I like that, too. That You know what? That, I can get lost in time. I got, you know what I got lost in? The other night, I got lost in infinity. <laughs> I did. Oh, I, I got, oh, listen. <laughs> when you say the word infinity... Um, uh, Alexander Proust just wrote a, a, a book, Pot Theology, Pot Physicist, um, and he talks about inf infinity. There's two kinds of infinity. There is actual infinity that are used in sets uh, that, you know, calculus and whatnot. Yeah. And then there's prob um, um, there is uh, potential infinity, actual and potential. And when you get into potential um, infinity... Uh, you find out it doesn't exist. If you if you take a book and open the cover, and the first page is a, an inch thick, well, take half of that. You go to half, you go to quarter, you go to eighth, sixteenth, thirty-second, one sixty-fourth. Now flip the book over and open the back cover slowly. What do you see? Nothing. Infinity does not exist. It's a. It doesn't exist in reality or in nature. But mathematics, watch. I mean, the, the, the difference is, is that, you know, one, two, three, four, five, where does that ever end? If you put a marble in a jar and you said, Jose, how many marbles do I have? I would say to you, Tom, you have a, you have a potential, uh, you have a, a potential unlimited number. You'll never reach infinity. You'll have a yes, finite, no, you'll I understand that. No, that's what's so cool about it. That's, that's, job, that's why I have you will never reach infinity. No, no, I get that. I get that. I, I get that. Believe me, I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, too funny, man. Hey, Tom, just a side note. One of your tigers up there, I think he's in Canada, Gloucester, somewhere up there. He's always talking about the great lobster, the fresh scallops. That's the Frank. Clams. That's Frank from so Gloucester. To, yeah. Yes, 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 that's it. We have to have uh, him have send us down you, some. You know, Gorton's, Gorton's makes a great fish stick right in your supermarket freezer. Okay. Yeah. Pollock, Pollock is very underrated. No, listen, man, the, the only fish, I, you know, as a kid, folks, I couldn't stand fish. I, that's, I love it now. It's almost all I eat. Uh, and, but I remember, like, the fish sticks then maybe weren't as good, but you could give me a fish stick and I'd, I'd eat it. As long as I had, like, a, a pound of tartar sauce with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, got, you need the tartar sauce to get through it. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, uh, Tom, uh, CDNS. Yeah, I uh, kind of went long here. Probably a mistake with the, uh, the NASDAQ breaking down. And, okay, uh, so let's take a look. You got Cadence Design. The low's 132. The high's 194. Now, what Cadence does, folks, you can see that the chips are breaking down. Cadence does the designs in them. Yeah, you got to be careful, man, because what's happening? Yeah. 15913. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me see this on the weekly. I'm looking at 134. Yeah, <laughs> listen, man, you got to be careful because, see, that this could be a big ABC down, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think today we're suckering people in. With yeah, the, the I mean because you got down. you're breaking. You got eight million shares. Yeah, you're breaking it with nine point four, and you get eight million. So, and then you got that you know this this volume down there at that one thirty three, one thirty four, man. Yeah, you can. You yes, can, yes, yes. I'll cover Monday when it bounces. Hopefully, uh, good deal, man. Okay, Much man. Obliged. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. The, uh, yeah, this thing keeps marching down now. It's going to get interesting here. Let's go put up the Dow Industrials and take a look at this. So the Dow, no, it's not breaking it yet. The Dow 
what had happened is that the Dow had gone a lot lower than the NDX, uh, the composite. So the low that was reached uh, last week in the Dow was at uh, 28.716. And let's see this. So that's the third. What I want to see here, we're going to we're going to see what the volume is now versus going into the third. So the third, you had 1.1, and right now you're at 5.66. Yeah, that's that's. We'll see. I mean, unless there's a monster. Uh, then there can't be much the volume at the low at the you know at the close here. Yeah, that's for sure, folks. Um, you know you still you still with lighter volume. That's how it's shaking out. But this price doesn't want to hold. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 740. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 442. S&Ps are down 117. So if we uh, go take a look at uh, it's all about the Fed funds rate. It's all about uh, how, how far this dollar wants to go, folks. OK, so right now, you know, we're at 3 to 3.25. Uh, we take a look at the meetings out here. What you're going to see, the next meeting is going to be on the, uh, November 2nd. And I suspect, you know, it looks to me like it, it, the, all the Fed governors, they're, they're all out here yapping that, OK, that they want to get this up to basically five. OK, so we're two points away from five, you know, and we have two meetings left. Right. Yeah, there's two meetings left. So let's say that you get a 75 and a 75. Then you're going to be at a four point five. Right? Yeah, you'd be a 4.5 to 4.75. And maybe you get one more. They do a 50-50. The bottom line is that, that um, they are going to be doing some numbers, man. That, that's, that's the bottom line. If we go take a look at uh, 
um, you know, we had the payrolls come out today. If you look at paychecks, uh, bottom line is that this thing's in an ABC structure down. I start looking at a few of these. I was actually, I picked this out as a shot today on TD Ameritrade. Um, but the bottom line is that, you know, it's breaking the lows. It's breaking the, it, well, this one here. Now, Paychecks is a great company, folks. We've had them forever. I think I've had them for like 20 years. They're a little expensive, but you never have to worry about Paying your tax, paying insurance, all this stuff, they do it all. So it's to me, it's well worth it, okay? The bottom line is that, that being said, what you can see here is that you are breaking down a major uh, consolidation that started October of last year. And, you know, it hasn't broken it yet. Uh, it's very close, though. I mean, we're at 109.13, you know, and it's really, you'd want it to get to 108 or something, do you know what I mean? Uh, 10987 is really the number, but when you get a when you have a break of a, a major consolidation, folks, what, what you want is you want something big. Uh, what we did do, you can see this last week though. You're coming into the swing point. You're coming into that swing point with 12 million. So I suspect you're going to get that broken down. Um, and then inside of the uh, real estate business, equity residential. Where was this one? I went shot this one too. So this is equity residential, and this is a this is a horror show. Now this one here, bottom line, has been on one way route on the way down. Also, um, this one here, I suspect what you're going to see, um, you know, we're, we're off highs of the highs of 94. Uh, you basically you're breaking down the first thing. It couldn't even hold the 67. So that's like setting up like put this on a monthly. And on the monthly, you can see you're out, you're already into the 67. So that's saying, hey, that low can be uh, that low could be 46, which is pretty intense, man. You know, uh, if you saw today, uh, San Francisco, right now, remember San Francisco? Everything was always awesome in San Francisco, right? I mean, I, I even said on the air, I think they're drinking different water out there because of the fact that you had all the tech companies, everyone's going wild, making money hand over fist. Bottom line. Um, the office market in San Francisco right now, folks, is 25% vacant, 2.5. That is such a monster number, it's unbelievable. You know, we'll see whether it takes 25 years for that market to come back. But you know what, you have, you have the aspect that it's too expensive, too crowded, too many homeless. You start naming it, man. I mean, they, they, they've put up with a lot out there, and guess what, they're basically, People want to work at home, and they're realizing that you can live at a lot of different places, and you can save a huge amount of money and not as have many as hassles. So, I think San Fran is uh, well. San Fran is in big trouble. The real question is, is that um, how will they make their way out of it? Because you know, when you when you have an acceleration inside a city that dramatic, and then all of a sudden it drops off the you know. The radar, because it's definitely dropped off the radar, man. There's no doubt. Um, they're going to start having trouble. It looks to me like in New York, also. That's that's what's kind of this. This inflation. What will end up happening with this inflation, folks? For all of us, we're all going to kind of look. You know, like the, the pandemic. Okay, so we all changed what we're doing uh, to a certain degree. Inflation is also going to basically start changing uh, the way that we live almost every day. It just is, um, because oh yeah, okay. So uh, did I tell the story last night? No, I, I think I just bought them. Today, what what to me this gold market today um, is really acting great. Now, what it seems like I, I went shopping not last night, the night before at um, Nostrums, and all these. Jeans, man, are so expensive, it's insane. And then I start looking at the context, right? It seems to me like we're out of whack on the structure of what some things are worth, what our perception of what they're worth, and our perception of, you know, I'm talking about gold in general. So I was looking when I was shopping, right? I'm saying to myself, and you've heard this story before when I was trading gold at 282. Okay, now it's 1700, right? So the, the, the question is, is that do you really, you know, let's say we're getting, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 pairs, 20 pairs of jeans, right? So that's 20 pairs of jeans 
is, let's say, an ounce of gold. It's like, really? That doesn't even make any sense to me. Because, because the fact is that in order to get one ounce of gold, right, you have to get 10 tons of dirt for one ounce of gold. 10 tons of oil. And that's a great gold company. So I think what we're all going to start seeing is like, okay, man, this is ripping us off. This isn't. This is ripping us off. This isn't. And what will end up happening is that the, the mindset is the, the one thing that the Fed cannot control, but that is the thing that does bring prices down. You got to remember something. This is what inflation is. For years, do you remember? I mean, if we go back 10 years, do you remember how many people would call and say that the dollar is going to be the end of the world because we're printing so much money? Particularly, you know, I, I, I understand this so much because of the aspect of um, being in the gold market. Okay, so that was always the mantra. And, you know, I'd listen to that, but my take was that, guess what? Everyone's printing dollars. What it actually is, this is where inflation catches, folks, and, and this is what has happened. It catches when the velocity of money changes hands very quickly. So what we had, we saw that like the ultimate in the pandemic. We saw that in the ultimate of the real estate business because what you had, you had people that had so much money. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of this money, I know where a lot of it come from because I was selling real estate into this. And a lot of it came from people that had small businesses you know, and this was a, you know, definitely, you were definitely a lot better off if you had a small business because you could get so much more money than being an individual. And what was that ended up happening is that they get, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars and the velocity was unbelievable. They wanted to get rid of it. So that velocity went through the economy like in an amazing way. Well, that velocity, my take, that's already stopped. Now the real question is how much is still left in the bank accounts, right? And how much are we all going to pull back? The faster that everything pulls back, that might take the velocity is gone. It's going to be like, how much more are we going to spend now? We start spending less, guess what? ASAP, you're going to see, you know, prices stabilize, prices come down very quickly. Dow Industrials right now, up, no, oh, up, down 720. NASDAQ off 445, S&P's off 116. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 640. NASDAQ is off uh, 423. S&Ps are off uh, 107. Let's get over and take a look at uh, ExxonMobil. So, is it Exxon? Oh, I uh, might have hold it one second. Sorry, I think I might have the wrong one here. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do this again. Okay. So Exxon, the way Exxon is, right? This has been a good run. And now you got to be careful right here. That's what's going on. So Exxon today. Yeah. Okay. So here, check it out, man. If you guys are in the oil patch in general, this has been a good run. This is a failure on Exxon. You, you, you get almost up to the high. The high out there was uh, 105.57. Uh, that had 31 million shares. You've only done 20, but you're going to have a failure. Not on that high. You're going to have a failure on the high. That was established at 101.55. That did 23 million. You're at 20 million. Um, if it closes under the 101.55, that's a failure. You know, so you get a pullback. Uh, let's see, one second. I think it's a oh, COP. Okay, I'll pull that one up too. So COP, that's Conoco. So, so that's a 81 cents. The low is 64. The high is 121. This hit 121, 362, 36 today. Yep. So what's this high here? That high is 121.37. Look at this, man. This is crazy. Oh, my God. I love it when this happens. So look at this. The high that was going after is 121.3792. And we hit 121.362. And then you gave it up and you gave it up with light volume. So that's saying it's going to pull back's coming, man. That's how this is shaking out. That's, you know, that's, a, that's and what, what you do have here inside of the uh, oil market, folks, right, right is that that is a 100% move or move, meaning you were, you were trading out there four months ago at 121, you go all the way down to 79, you make it all the way back to 121, you know. So let me bring up the actual oil contract, because that had some juice on it today. Let's see. CL. Okay, so that's up four bucks. Three hundred eighty thousand contracts. That's got some contract volume. We didn't have anything yesterday. Yeah, well, no, we did have. Why isn't that? I see. Okay, one second. Two hundred thirty-five thousand yesterday. You got three hundred eighty today. Yeah, that's in the that. You know, now you get 96.82 is actually game. That's, that's how that's set up. Because your swing point is at 96.82. That's how this thing is shaking out. So I suspect that's going to probably go after it. Let's go take a look at um, the, let's see. Let's take a look at some of the silver stocks. Because the, the, uh, it's, it's definitely something that's sticking out like a sore thumb out here today, folks. you gotta, you got to remember something, okay? In the market, the market itself is down from two and a half percent to three, three and a quarter, right? And you can see, and gold's down good, right? So what ends up happening is that when you when you're looking at something that's not, you know, getting smoked, like if we look at uh, Endeavor Silver, down 31 cents. Uh, bottom line is that you went up with uh, 5.27 million, you're back with 2.5. That's how, that's what you want to see, man. That's how this shakes out. If we get into, uh, let's go take a look at Anico Eagle.
Same setup, man. And Eco Eagle, you know, we, we went up here with uh, 3.7 million or 2.5. Let's so go to Barrack and see what Barrack's looking like. If we take a look at Barrack, same setup. You know, Barrack, bottom line, went higher with 37 million, 35 million, and you're pulling back with 18. When you get something like that, particularly in a market that is uh, a bad market, a down market like today, folks, that's telling you quite a bit. That's, that's the bottom line. It's telling you, hey, listen, man, I want higher price. Now, let's go take a look at the, the small caps because the, what the IWM, what the IWM, you know, had done, bottom line, the rest of the market, it, you know, bottom line took off. Same setup. You're pulling back with way too much, uh, way too light a volume. Yeah. The more I keep looking at this market, this, this, it's going to get, yeah, where it can't catch a bid, but when you're coming down, and you so pitch this you you've come down you get a bounce going you pull back into the bounce you've had contraction of volume like we've had that's telling me that you know this thing is going to basically try to bounce again that's how it's set up and the way that i am looking at the market that being said is that this that's all that would be we i think we have a long way to go i'm not looking for you know basically a bull market out here. Um, the reason that I think we have a long way to go is that when I look at something like Nike, when I look at, I've been pulling up a lot of equities even on the air. I gotta start writing them down when people are closing when they're calling in. Because if Nike, so Nike's trading $87. The high of the COVID low is 91. It's like, that doesn't even make any sense. Well, it makes sense because it is, okay? Um, but the bottom line is that when you have something like that, you know, if Nike can get down to the, those levels, every stock can get down to those levels. That, that's my take on the, the, the bigger structure that we're dealing with out here. The, the thing that is going to be intriguing is that when you're dealing with inflation, these equities at some point are also going to be inflated because it's only a number. Now, we know they were inflated beyond belief from folks buying them, running the market up. But what I mean here is this, is that they probably are not going to go as low as folks actually think they're going to go because what, what ends up happening, it'll just be a higher number, but that higher number is not going to buy you more. Because you, you always have to remember what is, you know, I'm giving you this for that. What? I'm giving you this for that. You're giving me this for that. It's an exchange. So you can see that, you know, whether the folks in Europe, the folks in Japan, their exchange is getting a lot less if they come to the United States. If we go to their countries, we are getting a lot more for the exchange that we have. That's what it comes down to. And the more that you can really start understanding that, then you can really start wrapping your head around the aspect of, why doesn't some of these actually go lower? Well, it wouldn't go lower because of the aspect, because the dollar is so high. You know, that's what it comes down to. Because, well, you know, an easy way of doing this, an easy way of doing this is watch what the, a couple of these high flyers trade in Europe versus what they trade in the United States, because you'll see how many more euros you need to buy the same exact stock. That's what it comes down to. So the next mantra that's going to be out here, and I heard the first guy today on, uh, it was actually on TD Ameritrade, pushing that, you know, you should be out here, you know, using your dollars to buy stocks overseas. Now, I'm not in that, not, I'm not in that camp, but I understand what, you know, where he's going with it. Because the bottom line is that, you know, our, equity, uh, our dollars are worth so much more money. That's what it comes down to, you know, so. And, you know, the way that this market is traded right here, I mean, yeah, you, you, we're not getting a bounce, man. I mean, there's 10 minutes left in the marketplace. Um, you had the low out here today of uh, 632, and we're at 652, you know. You'll probably get some kind of a, you know, little spike into the close because the shots want to go home and um, be flat. <laughs> so, but that's what that's going to be. That's the, the folks that are more than likely going to be buying here, a buying because they're already shot the position are inside the option market and they're going to be closing it and that has to get the option market makers delta neutral so they have to come in and buy a bit stay right there folks come right back
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down to 632, NASDAQ off 425, S&P's off 107. Now, let's get over to the SPY. We'll take a look at these volumes as they come in. Right now, we get the SPY trading, 82 million top of the yeah you're gonna you're into the bar man you're going after the lows man because the top of this bar was uh 366 here at 362 yeah it's gonna go after these lows so that's uh that, that high volume lows laying out there's still 357 is game and the x100 that was already digging into it uh we'll see what kind of volume we got out here that's accelerating with volume too um you're not gonna get well you might get 78 we're at 60 right now uh, that's already into the bar, though. The, the low of that bar is 367.10, and right now you're at 368.77. And then what you got to, you know, next week we're going to be talking about is that real question is going to be, is this a, just a, 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 an ABC down in the weekly? Because it's, it's setting up that way. You can see last week we went down with uh, 380 million shares, uh, which you didn't hit because you didn't hit the high. You actually went up this week with... 297. So you see that correlation? That's 100 million less going up, then it gives it up, then it goes after the uh, B point again, and see you later, alligator. And that's telling me that we're going to be dealing with that dollar, and that dollar wants to get up into this 121. I mean, the, the 17, 114, yeah, 114, 778. And what will happen there is that if it does take out that, you know, structure, 
uh, then you're going to probably have a small ABC structure up to approximately the 117, and the 121's laying out there. So 121 just might be game, man. I mean, this is going to be, uh, you know, the trading, the volatility, it's all going to continue, folks. That's the bottom line. Uh, in spades, too. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy the Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.